welcome to this episode of Inside Access. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about how to unveil your campus during the pandemic in a unique way. And my guest on this episode is Chris Shank, uh, recruiting coordinator here at Defiance College. How's it going, Chris? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, what do good. you think? All this pandemic is certainly changing recruiting today more than anything I've ever seen. It has, but it's just it's made people – you know, think outside the box and get a little bit more creative with how they present their campus, how they present their program. And I think some some programs and some colleges are doing a great job at it and some aren't. And I think I think with the technology and the, the guys that we have with the ideas that we have, I think that's really gonna benefit defiance in the in the future. And even even being able to take some of the ideas that we've come up with and when things start to open back up, you can have on-campus visits, just being able to incorporate some of those aspects mm -hmm. and some of those features. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be big moving forward, even just yeah. of what we've developed. So, well, a certain opportunity. I mean, I, right. I think it, it's how you respond to these situations dictates right. where you're going to be in the future. And, um, you know, here's what's happening right now. I mean, I remember when all this stuff would would, would, hit, would hit, and then you'd hear about, oh, we're doing a virtual visit. We're doing these different things. I remember Les Miles and the Kansas Jayhawks had like an all-day affair. Yeah. You know, it was like, get on Zoom and let me talk to you. And, yeah. and that was how they and a lot of colleges were doing that or have been doing that. Um, you know, and, and that was... Interesting to see that in other ways people are responding to this because recruiting is the lifeblood of every program. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and w what have you noticed out there? I've noticed, you know, a lot of schools are doing the virtual visits or virtual junior days or virtual whatever. You know, I think the way we were able to do it and the way we piece things together, and it didn't even really stem from the – the, the pandemic, it stemmed from, I remember we had a couple guys that were signed up for our March 20th weekend visit and they couldn't come because they're, you know, Texas, California, yeah. whatever. And they asked about a virtual visit. Yeah, well, we'll think about that. Then all of a sudden the pandemic started hitting and well, that's yeah. a pretty good idea. You know? And, yeah. I mean, and, but, you're but with right. like But with like those virtual visits that guys do, like, hey, you log on to Zoom or Google Meet, whatever, those are great. You get a chance to sit there and talk and whatever to your coach, but mm. I'd like to think you've already been talking to your recruiting coach and <laughs> exactly. And so, like the way <laughs> we've done this is it's, it allows the recruits, it allows the parents to sit down at whatever day, whatever hour they want to do it, and they can do it in one sitting, they can do it in ten sittings. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You well, know. And, and that's a good point. You know, I mean, I have heard that, hey, Defiance College and what we're doing with our virtual visit is totally different than everybody else, and we stand alone. And uh, here's, uh, here's what uh, has been said out there. You do Now, you actually have been privy to what we do here at Defiance College. And um, you went through it and uh, our virtual visit. What, um, how does that look to you? What, what would be your insights on how, what we're doing here? Oh, I think it's cutting edge. I, I would, I wouldn't think anybody. I'd be shocked if anybody at our level is doing something like that, let alone small college. Um, it was a. I think it's a great way to reach the masses, reach a lot of recruits, getting your brand out, getting your name out, getting what you have to sell in a small college. You know the people getting you know just understanding academically athletically socially what there's to offer in defiance and it was just a unique way to get it done all right now let's take a look at how we got here uh, the pandemic hits it's after spring break right it yeah. was just happening at this point you and i are sitting around and you know we can't go on the road they said that was it uh all recruiting had to be done by phone we were at least allowed to do that yeah. um we had our biggest recruiting weekend coming up. We had 54 prospects from seven states. Yeah. You know, I can remember that. At that point, we had 119 
prospects come onto campus. Yes. That's where we were sitting. And we were doing great. Oh, I yeah. mean, yeah, you look at everything was starting to trend well. Everything was going. Then it all stopped. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. Yeah. You know? So then I remember the day. I mean, it, it was great yeah. because it, we got great reception and great feedback on all of our overnight visits, all of our weekend visits. And you, how do we extend this to more people? You know, yeah. like you know, and, and we understand the people in those flyaway states. Something may come up, and they got to cancel or whatever. Like, well, how do we get them the information? Yeah. How do we show what's going on here? And you know, it all kind of came mm-hmm. together. Well, it did because that one day, I think we were. St- it was at the end of spring break. We were up here mm-hmm. in the office working, and uh, you know, I, I walk into your office. Say, I go, hey, I got an idea. Yeah. That's not the first time you heard that. Yeah, yeah. You know? and then, Daily uh, occurrence. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and we sit there and uh, I go, hey, let's do a virtual visit. Okay. Well, you know, not just some type of a, a video, but a real online official visit. Mm-hmm. You know, and we started bantering back and forth as we always do. We start to brainstorm a little bit. And they say, ah, you know, we could create this like an e-course, something that can we can promote to prospects and their parents. And if nobody can come on campus, see, the big thing for us is when they come on campus, they get this Di- Di- Discover Defiance grant of $1,000 a year. Mm-hmm. So it, it's worth them making the trip yep. here, right? I mean, give me... Give, a, give everybody an idea of we have where we're located in Northwest Ohio, near Bowling Green and D- Detroit mm-hmm. up here. I mean, how many states are represented total on our team here? On our team right now, you know, we're probably around 13, 14 states right now. Now, if you start counting the guys that have deposited, you know, we're mm-hmm. probably up maybe around 15, 16 states right now currently, yeah. if you count everybody in there. Yeah. yeah. And for us in Ohio, which is a tremendous state for mm-hmm. college football and, and high school as well, what happens is the sheer competition right. for those players in state is very high. Yeah, the, the, you're talking about the Ohio high school players. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 you got to think that there's, you know, twenty. 20 plus division three, right around 20 division three schools that, that play college football in the mm-hmm. state of Ohio. And that's, you know, not counting your schools that are right across the border in Indiana or right across the border in Michigan that, are, you know, they'd be dumb not to recruit at least close to the border, or just over the border. So you got a lot of, got a lot of, a lot of schools you're competing with. Yeah. You know, and that's why we've had to get the best players we could get in state, mm-hmm. but we reach far. I mean, it is not uncommon sitting where we are for people to now people fly in i get it but there are people that have driven here from texas yeah we had, mm-hmm. uh, we had a young man and his mom drive 19 hours from beaumont texas yeah got, got here at nine o'clock at night on a friday left at about noon the next day thought it was the greatest visit they've ever seen and i just remember it uh, the young man, he, he contacted me and said uh, on Friday, hey, coach, we may be a little bit late. We hit a traffic jam in Louisiana. <laughs> I said, <"All> right. <laughs> no, no problem, man. We'll, yeah. be, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So, so that's what's happening. We get him from Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, mm-hmm. Florida, all over. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I mean, and there, we, there's something special. Yeah. I mean, we have three deposits from California right now. There you sure. go. Now, those so. kids all flew out, though, right? Do we have the, one drive? No, they've mm-hmm. all they all did the virtual visit. They oh. even none of them. No. they were all set up to come in the, either a March <laughs> or April visit. Now, and see, then, we're leading yeah. you, leading everybody, all these coaches yeah. out there into this like this virtual visit. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. You know what happened was when we started to develop this, our administration agreed that if we made this a quality experience, which you'll see that we would be able to offer that Discover Defiance grant, mm-hmm. right? So there, there's $4,000 to sit down in about an hour or so to mm-hmm. complete this, right? Mm-hmm. And we had to have a way to find out completion, which we'll get into that in a second. Now, we had no blueprint whatsoever. Now, all we ah. saw was, here's here's a video of the can. Here's this vid- all these different videos people were doing out there and yeah. the Zoom calls, mm-hmm. which we saw the limitations of a lot of that was it didn't seem very personal when you're looking at the videos and the zoom call 
it was personal, but you couldn't recruit a large enough group of people because it was you one on one or with a group. And they had to have the right time. I mean, you yeah. know, lot young men have yeah. other, you know, so he may have other things going on, maybe another virtual visit with another mm-hmm. school or something like that. Now you're yeah. competing for their half an hour, hour time here. So here's what happens. So, so, so everybody can get a, a good understanding what we had to develop here. Uh, you know, all, all I said was, hey, Chris. You get with Matt Wareham. Mm-hmm. Matt is our assistant recruiting coordinator, linebacker coach. And I said, what I want you to do is take a look at our typical overnight visit. Yep. So you all pulled out the itineraries, what it was, and see what we delivered to prospects. Yep. You know, what were we putting out for them that they liked? And, and we start, you guys started to get all the key insights of what was so great about these overnight visits. Because when guys were coming overnight, we were getting tremendous conversion on the overnight. And what made those so successful? So you did that, Mm -hmm. right? And then we, then you all created a storyboard and said, let's, let's take a look at this. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so walk me through that process of, all right, coach says, I've got to, you know, we, let's look at the itinerary. How do we get from that? up to the initial storyboard? Well, we just kind of, we took everything we did in the official visits and in the, in the weekend visits. And we, we broke it down into like three different sections. You, you're kind of welcome. Hey, this is what this is about. This is what you're going to get out of it. This kind of hitting some, some bullet points you're going to hear from some different people. And then we will transition into, you know, your academic part side of things. You're, um, your campus life, your the town of defiance, like, yeah. And then, and then the third part was the athletic, and and what we like try to do is really look and see what what were the pieces. Just getting feedback from our, our previous visits, what were our most popular, or maybe things that people really gravitated to or really really enjoyed, and. So you know, we we have like a 15 minute presentation in there from from Kirsty Mack and the Defiance Visitors Bureau because she always came to speak with us at our official mm-hmm. visits to present to the parents and did the same thing with it and we got some slides and pictures it's great you know the one thing that I wish we could have done and you know it's just if we if we could have gotten the students back for a couple of days right after spring break we've been able to do like our player panel and all that stuff now on the flip side our players have done a tremendous job in recruiting because whenever any of these recruits retag, retweet me and I tag and retweet, you know, I'm committed or I'm depositing, whatever the case may be, our players are all over it. And they, they make comments and friend, follow whatever these guys. Mm-hmm. So it's, it kind of, we kind of got to it in an indirect way, yeah. but, but yeah. So yeah. it's, so, so that helped. I mean, yeah. you look at that and you, you guys created a storyboard. We worked through it all and then we said, okay, now we're in this pandemic. We're going to create this. We did it in a week, basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and Matt was up all night. We we're doing all types of things. Cause what we were fortunate to have that a lot of people, like I've gotten calls from, Major programs, all this, all the way to small college. Hey, I want to take a look at what it is you do because they want to replicate it. Yeah. And a couple I looked at, it, I was like, "Oh, well, we can't do that." Yeah. Well, one of the reasons is that we had been recording video mm-hmm. of our official visits. So yeah. when I would do the introduction, you know, I was mic'd up. It was recording yeah. each part of this. A lot of parts of this were um, recorded in good mm-hmm. quality. Yeah. Right. So we had something. We didn't have it all, but we had at least the bones of this thing. And Matt started to edit it, put it together, and we had, uh, you know, some good footage to start out on our hard drives yeah. from what we had done before. And then we found a software solution out there that would guarantee. And this I thought was cool, where you couldn't move on to the next segment unless you mm-hmm. watched eighty, ninety percent. Of the video. So right. we knew they were watching the video and then they could move on to their next module, like an e-course. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And then ultimately it took them through the pipeline and they would get a certificate of completion, which was good for the Discover Defiance grant. Right. right? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. That and the, they, they'd fill out a survey too, which is, the survey was good for, you know, for two reasons. They, we knew they did it so we could get them a, uh, the Discover Defiance grant. Mm-hmm. But then there's a, we also put on, you know, for feedback, any notes or, yeah. you know, what, what would you like to hear more of? you know and stuff like that and mm-hmm. so so as we move forward you know and and create one in the yeah. future and stuff mm-hmm. like that now we know okay what we need to add or what yeah. the case might be yeah well yeah and, and what happened was we had to fill in the gaps because we didn't have everything mm-hmm. some things like oh i think you're right the the uh kirstie mack mm-hmm. presentation all we had was the audio the video looked like crap yeah. right i yeah. mean excuse my French, but it just didn't look very good. So we didn't, we, but we did have a presentation. So we, we did audio overdub on that one Mm -hmm. and other things like that. And, and so it helped to have the presentations, some of the other stuff. Uh, Hey, we had uh, Tracy Ford do hers, I think with her iPhone. Right? I think so. Or, or yeah. webcam or something. Yeah. So we had coaches and different people, whatever we wanted to fill in. And you'll see in a minute, I'll take you through what this thing has in it. And we created more video to insert that we thought would make this a tremendous virtual visit mm-hmm. online, something that would rival an official visit. Mm-hmm. All right. And here's an outline of what we put into that thing. We start off, like you said, with a welcome. I do an introduction. I think it's in my office. Yeah. I sit there and, you know, sit on the couch, talk through it. Hey, welcome. You know, and, and you all can check this out here later. We have a link that you can go to to see this. And, and then we do something about, well, why defines college? You know, what is so great about this place? And then we do a section on meeting the staff. Mm-hmm. So we go through all that, boom. So all this stuff is videos and graphics, et cetera. So that's phase one, welcome. Then it goes to Defiance College and Defiance, the area, you know, everything around it that happened to be there. And, you know, what we hit on admissions, academics, campus tour, financial aid, and then what you had alluded to before was discovering our town. Yep. You know, that presentation that was done there. And each of these segments are not like 30, 40 minute sections. I mean, these are like bites of information edited properly to give them what they want. And then as we know, academics come first, but then football is the is the is the cell on the back end of this in recruiting. Because kids want to come here and play football. So then we get into a section on yellow jacket football. Well, we had an offensive presentation, right? Yep. And a, and a defensive one with Coach Johnson. And then we had position meetings. Tell me uh, about how those went, how we set yeah, that yeah. up. Yeah, so, so normally on an on a, on official visit, on a weekend visit, you know, when we would have the parents sit in, right after the, the, the OD presentations, we would have the separate the parents and the recruits. And the parents would go to a player panel, and they'd get to ask fire questions that are, are players, no coaches in there, just complete transparency about what goes on in the program, on campus, and everything. And then the, the prospects, they would go, and they would um, break up with, with their position coach for about 20, 30 minutes and just sit there and talk. You know, And, and we were kind of loose. You know, Some coaches got some film on there. Some coaches talked to them a little bit more about their background get to know the each their, their recruits a little bit, just kind of playing into, hey, this is potentially the guy I'm going to be playing for for the next four years That's in my right. college career. I want to get to know him and, and, and who he is. And so we were able to take that. Now, it, it wasn't a 20 to 30-minute presentation no, on, the, on no. the visit because I wouldn't want to sit there on a video and watch myself talk for 20 to 30 minutes. But it was still, hey, listen, you know, glad you're taking this visit. This is what I believe, you know, myself, I talked about my philosophy, a little bit about where I've been, you know, what I, how I coach, how I teach, maybe my style of coaching, mm-hmm. just so they could at least encompass all this information and, and, and realize, okay, this is a guy I want to play for, maybe not, you know, yeah, and, that's right. and, uh, and go from there, not too heavy yeah. into X's and O's, but, but hey. But enough, yeah. where they got it, and he, mm-hmm. each guy had his own feature, so a, a prospect could go through, and he can find out, hey, I'm an offensive lineman, I want to hear about this, I'm a quarterback, I want to hear yeah. about this. 
and were able to get through some really good information. And then when they finished their position meeting online, then the next segment was about facilities. So we took them through, showed them all the facilities. That, we had to create some, add some new video. Yeah. And Matt went out and about, shot that. And then they completed their certification. Yeah. You know, now, now here's where the rubber meets the road. Let's take a look at the results of this project to date, the oh. virtual visit project, what it's been able to do to date. Uh, and this is 1st of May. Right? Yeah. And in 2019, we had total number of in-person visits was 160. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, so that's what we're gauging this. And now we've been hit with this pandemic and all this stuff happened. And in 2020, uh, we had regular in-person visits of 119 when all this hit. Mm -hmm. And virtually, we added 194. The, these yeah. are the guys that could come here this fall in 2020. So totaling 313 visits, 313, almost mm -hmm. double the 160 that we had a year ago because of the virtual setup we had yeah. with these visits. So you look at this and you think, wow. I mean, that's huge. We do, my goodness. And there's so many benefits to this. Don't you see? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, you could look at it. I mean, it's, it's a benefit for a guy that, okay, it helped us out during a, a, a crisis, you know, during the national yeah. pandemic. It, it's going to help us out in the future when we can't have on campus visits to, you know, guys that live in those flyaway states, one of those. 20 states we may have on the roster in a couple of years. Like, do I really want to go out there and, and fly out to Defiance College to, to visit and spend the time and money to get out there? Well, I'm going to watch this hour and I'm going to sit down for an hour, hour and a half and go through this visit. Wow, I really want to see this place in person. And that's, that's a little bit because, you know, I, I'm excited that, you know, things are starting to open up a little bit because we do have s several – you know, oh, yeah. very good football players that have gone through this virtual visit and that coach, I just need to, I, and I've talked to their parents, coach, mm -hmm. I just want to come up and see campus before I make the final decision, but we yeah. love everything. And, you know, possibly going to be able to get to that point, hopefully. And yeah. I mean, it's a way to connect and a way to get things out there, you know, mm -hmm. to, to more people convey your message a little bit more. So that as powerful as that is, yeah. you know, and I, and, I, and I have to commend you, our coaches, for the recruiting job we've been able to do yeah. uh, in and out of the whole pandemic situation. Yeah. But this is what I think is even more powerful. You would think there and, and you see it out there. Everyone's like trying to do their best and they're giving you a little bit, a little bit of this and that. And then then what I always I hate this. It's, it's like. People making excuses. Oh, uh, well, because of the pandemic, the new normal is, and we're not going to be able to get as many players. We're not going to be able to do all. There's all these excuses and oh, yeah. alibis, whatever you want to call them. And what I think is here is the magic number, all right? The magic number, believe it or not, is 281. It's 281 juniors yeah. in our 2021 class that have already gone through this. Uh, mm -hmm. A year ago, we didn't have any juniors on campus. No. No. So we're 281 ahead, and these guys are engaged. Uh, we have our own podcast that we do, that Swarm and Shoot football show. We've got um, all this stuff that we create for them, and they're excited about us right now. Yeah, all fired up. Yeah. Right? That's, yeah. I mean, uh, we're becoming... You know, and a friend of mine on the East Coast says, he goes, you guys are becoming the most interesting football program in yeah. the country right now. Yeah. You know, so the key is winning. Yeah. You know, and I think as you cast that big enough net with how we have to do this, every I think every program in the country has their own way where they can win. They all have a way of doing it. You could be in a football hotbed. You may not be. You might be by the beach. You might be in the mountains. Whatever it is, we all have something to sell, and we have to be creative in the way we're doing that. Yeah. And I certainly believe that having 281 juniors already fired up and every week. I mean, if somebody out there, 
I mean, a lot of guys, a lot of you coaches and stuff out there are on Twitter, you know, just follow us at DCFB, right? Yeah. On Twitter, and you'll see how many kids are taking these virtual visits. And <laughs> I, I don't want to name names, yeah. but how many coaches have called me, have texted me, hey, yeah. I want to see this because. Yeah. It's different than, hey, this is what Eastern Michigan does. This is what this Mac school does. This is what every small college, it's totally different. Yeah. And I, I think the beauty of this is going to be that for football coaches or what we're going to call non-prospects, all right, mm-hmm. we're going to have a link that you can go to all right, right here on the website on mannymetsackis.com. And with this uh, inside access episode, you'll have the link for, for you. And Hey, look, this is like a shameless plug. We, if you know guys that are good prospects that want to check out defiance college, there's another link there for prospects. So we have one for coaches and one for the prospects and shoot. I'll tell you, these numbers are going to go through the roof. Don't you think? I mean, coach, I think another, you know, you, you mentioned it, you know, people and coaches around the country, it's easy for them to make an excuse, you know, whatever sport, admissions or office, whatever, about not hitting numbers and stuff like that. I think a telling number for us and our staff and what we've been able to do here is the fact that last year at this point, on May 1st of 2019, we had 27 deposits as a football program, okay? This year, on May 1st, 2020, we have 38. You know, it's it's we're still not quite where we need to be, yeah. you know, but we're we're getting there. And and I mean, it's it's hard to say that it's hard not to say that this thing helped. Yeah. You know, it's exactly. And, and, and that's a case study for Defiance College. Now, other colleges are out there and they're looking at what we're yeah. doing. And, hey, we're sharing the information with them. Mm-hmm. Um but you already know we're up to two point. We're working on two point oh, oh yeah. this right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're coming up with stuff that uh, I guess somebody would have to sign a non disclosure agreement. We're not going to show <laughs> yeah. what it is we're about to create. I mean, this is like uh, I don't even want to go there. I, I'm fired up about it. It gives yeah. us this opportunity to sell a place that's near and dear to our heart. Mm-hmm. Defiance College has a proud tradition that we are in the midst of rekindling right now, Mm -hmm. bringing it back. Uh, And it's a great place to to play football. But Mm -hmm. there's so many guys that right now, like you said, that would have never seen this. (laughs) Have no idea where Defiance is, what what it, you know, so it's... That's amazing. Gives you a chance, yeah. Gives yeah. you a chance to get them on the hook. Yeah, so so that's awesome. I want to thank everybody out there for watching this episode of Inside Access. And uh, hopefully you get some insights. If you want to make yeah. any comments below, um, everything is right on our website at mannymatsackis.com. And enjoy that. And let's see if we can help you with your football program. And for the high school coaches out there, Take a look at this because it can help your best players find a place while they're sitting at home in the comfort of, you know, of their living room. They can watch this and go through the program. Yeah. All right. Thanks again. No problem. Appreciate it. All right, Coach. All right. right. Bye-bye.